Hey, so today's video, doing something a little bit different. Um, we're doing a bass guitar. Um, so you may have seen us do some shorts on it, but um, I'm gonna preface this as much as I can. I am not a bass player. Don't, don't claim to be one, won't proclaim to be one, but I do know some, some stuff about bass, just from recording them over the years. So, um, but uh, things that are new in the studio, we will uh, hopefully next week have some stuff for you. Um, there's nothing new really this week. Um, yeah, you may notice there's some, something missing behind me here, but um, that's a short you have to watch that's already posted. Anyways, um, when it comes, we will do a video and post that too and kind of reveal our mystery about what's going on behind me here. Anyways, uh, today's video is solely on this bass, which is you know, a very nice bass. Actually, it's a Sterling by Music Man, and it's a Stingray. Um, it's kind of like, St Stingray is kind of like the Squire of the Music Man series. So anyways, um, I love this bass. Um, bought it at Guitar Center, um, which was interesting. But bought it at Guitar Center. It's made in Indonesia. And um, there's not a whole lot to say about it because I don't know a ton about it other than it's got fuzz down here in the tailpiece. Um, still using our 90 degree jack if you've uh, seen our short on that. Um, but yeah, this bass, like I said, it's a Sterling by Music Man. It's a Stingray. It's got three pots down here. So there's three. There's a volume and then a tone pots. And these tone pots are kind of interesting. It's like they're a fixed, there's some kind of frequency that they're controlling. So when you turn it up, like one is the bass, one is the high end. Um, and I'll kind of show you here in a minute. But it's got a single pickup with the kind of classic oval-esque um, uh, basically pick guard. And then it, um, it's got a little thing here that I'm not quite sure what it does. But um, as I find out, I will, I'll let you guys know. Um, tailpiece is kind of you know, you're kind of your generic, you know, the strings run up through it and they connect at the top with the factory tuners. It's factory everything. There's nothing been done to this. I haven't changed anything on it. Um, even came with uh, these lovely coated round wound strings here. They're either round wound or flat wound. Um, if you guys could let me know in the, the difference of those in the comments, that would be great. You know, I'd love to know more. Like I said, I'm not proclaiming to be a bass player or be a bass, anything bass really, but I do know enough about bass guitars that um, I can kind of show you how this guy sounds. So um, from the get go, you kind of have, make sure everything's kind of set. These two volume pots at the bottom, you probably can't see. These two here are detented. That one's detended. This one is variable as your volume. So anyways, I usually just, for the sake of this particular video, I'm going to set them to to zero or to unity. And I'm going to turn the volume all up. And this is how it sounds, just open note. And I'm not 100% sure how to tune this is in. Um, I did tune it, but I, it's been a couple days. So, anyways, that is kind of how that sounds. Um, that's just kind of like your standard, like every, EQ's flat, the volume's all the way up, just straight note. No, you know, it's just straight string note. Um, you know, you've got... Anyways, you've got, you know, stuff you can do with it. Now, to kind of these volume pots. Now, I'm going to leave the volume at 100%, and I'm going to turn, I believe, this bottom one here all the way up. I'm not entirely sure. I turned it, I turned, I'm gonna turn it all the way to my right. And this is how it sounds with that bottom knob all the way to the right. So that's how it sounds with that knob turned all the way to the right. Now I'm gonna turn it back to unison. And I'm going to take the middle one, and I'm going to turn it all the way to the right. And we'll go from there. So 
So that's how the middle one sounds turned all the way to the right. Now I'm going to turn it back, and I'm going to go back to the bottom one, and I'm going to turn it all the way to the left. And this is how it sounds all the way to the left. So that's how that one sounds, the bottom knob that's close to your output jack, all the way to the left. I'm going to turn it back to center, and I'm going to go with the next knob all the way to the left and see how that sounds. So here's how it sounds. So that's how that sounds all the way to the, uh, to the left. So anyways, now if I were to take and turn both to the right, this is how it would sound. So that's how that sounds. And then if I do the opposite, I take both and go all the way to the left, you'll hear something that sounds similar to this. So anyways, um, that's how that sounds. Now, I, d I bought this bass not for the soul that it's a Music Man knockoff or a, a, lower, a lower grade Music Man or anything. I bought it because I liked how it played. And um, it played for me. You know, I've had other people play it and they've liked it. Um, the strings are a little softer sounding strings because they're, they're, you know, they're round wounds that are slightly coated. Um, I'm not sure what their code. I'm not even sure what exactly the brand of strings that are on this because they came on here um, from a previous owner. Um, there's a slew of things that I'm not entirely sure about on this bass. I'm not sure exactly how it's set up, but I do like how it plays. It plays great. Which, honestly, if your guitar plays great, who cares what it is? You don't have to be a gear snob um, per se. I like certain things, like all the higher end stuff is great too. The lower end stuff is great. Everything's kind of kind of being homogenized a little bit when it comes to playability. As long as the neck for you plays well and you get a good tone out of it, because half the tone is you. Like you are half the tone of the guitar, and half the tone of the bass um, is you as well. You know, no matter what you're playing, you influence how it's being played. So, anyways. Um, that is kind of our video, uh, for the week. Uh, we've been doing these one video a week along with a bunch of shorts. I'm sure we'll make a bunch of shorts off of this guy. Uh, we highly, highly appreciate how many people have liked and subscribed and, you know, posted comments on our videos. So keep it up. We love interacting with those who are on our, uh, channel. I'm going to turn that down. Um, you know, we love that. Come do more, let us know how we're doing, and uh, yeah, so like I said, like, subscribe, hit that bell, and we'll see you next time.